What's cracking, fam? Happy Monday. T Money up in the Heezy here to bring you guys a little collection update. It's kind of late. It's been a long day, so I kind of want to burn through this and call it an evening. But uh, hope everybody's doing well. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who like hit me up um, and just you know um, wished me well. I guess you could say uh, as far as the back stuff goes. One thing that I didn't mention is that. Um, um, <clears throat> the MRI showed that it was a, um, spinal, severe spinal canal stenosis due to a, uh, herniated disc. So I got my x-rays today actually, and it was crazy. Like, um, each like spinal column or whatever, there's like some jelly substance in between them. And one of them is just like ruptured and the gel or whatever that's in between it is, um, like basically in my back. I don't know. I, I'm not a doctor, obviously. I don't really know how to explain it, but that's basically what happened. The wall busted. The gel went through and is like piercing my back, something like that. And it sucks. Uh, but I figured out today, my two options are really just uh, surgery or the chance that it'll heal over time. I don't know, like the wall again, I don't know the terminology, but I guess it can heal itself naturally. It can harden, calcify or something like that. And the the wall can heal in between the spinal columns. I don't fucking know. But I hope that I don't have to have surgery. That's like my big hope. So I uh, don't want to dwell on that too much though. So just a little quick update there. Uh, last update. I don't think I showed you, but I ordered a couple of pins from Fright Rags. And uh, I got the Burkittsville, um, like welcome sign, I guess. And then the... Um, Blair Witch Project Cross that's featured in both movies in the woods. I love Blair Witch Project. I think I mentioned that before. Um, it's probably my favorite found footage film for sure. Um, and it's just really good. So yeah, I got those. Then I got a hoodie from Fright Rags as well. Uh, this was sold out first go around and then they posted some more. Um, and I jumped right on it because I really wanted this. I love this. It's awesome. Really nice uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 45th anniversary sweatshirt. So super cool. Love it. And then I have a stack of films that I have opened and also another package from Fright Rags. So we'll open up this one first uh, to get all the non-media stuff out of the way. And this is a awesome t-shirt. Now, it's not from the original creep show but it's from the new show and i love creep show anything creep show so i'm hoping you know what i noticed fright rags hasn't been putting the little bags in their thing anymore they just kind of did away with the bags and they're giving you stickers uh, or the, all the stuff um and uh, what movie is this from uh, uh alien right um That's cool. Um, and then this sticker, I have a bunch of these. So again, nobody ever took me up on that, but I have a bunch of Fright Rag stickers double. So if anybody's collecting them or anything like that, let me know. I can hook you up. Um, and then I grabbed this from the Creepshow t-shirt. I mean, from the Creepshow television series that's coming out um, based on, of course, the classic movie. I love Creepshow. Probably my favorite anthology film. So yeah, this is super cool. Uh, just like kind of that throwback image of the kid and the creeper or whatever you call it the uh i forget what you call it um but yeah the creep show host in the window the the ghoul whatever uh so really cool can't wait to see the show i'm, I'm kind of like hoping it's really good but I, I don't i don't know you know um i don't know but take one more quick look at this pretty awesome what do you call it? The Creeper, is it? And then there's Tom Savini in the, um, I think it's the Creeper. In the second one he plays. But anyways, I don't know. 12 Terrifying Tales of Terror. So that's awesome. So this TV show is 12 uh, tales rather than, what, five from the show? I think five or six were in the original Creep Show. All right. Um, all right. So first up, a couple Andy Sidaris films. 
people who get their uh, Mill Creek stuff have showed these off like a long time ago, but I don't get that kind of stuff for free. I'm not that cool. Uh, but do or die and um, guns. So two films from Andy Sidaris. Um, Babe exploitation, I guess, action movies. Uh, but yeah, they're cool. I love like 90s, 80s, California. Um, cheese ball action flicks i guess you could say with a with a california flair um it's just fun i mean babes with guns blowing up bad guys i guess or the babes are the bad guys in uh in guns i think but um yeah i love these kind of movies they're fun turn your brain off action romps then we got this one called arctic and this actually sounds really good it's from dread dread central and uh i, I read the synopsis on this one i was i actually went there to pick up um, this movie, Candy Corn, I pre-ordered. It's coming out from Dread Central. Sounds like it's going to be fun for Halloween. Um, so I went to grab that, and I ended up grabbing this because this had just come out. That one's on pre-order, but, uh, yeah, it sounded really cool. Uh, it's about a serial killer who is, uh, it's like a serial killer who's obsessed with comic books, trains his son how to do, how to commit murders, and then... They meet some guy along the way, and the guy threatens to expose them, and I'm sure it's like this sensitive situation between the guy and his son, and, uh, but yeah, it just sounds kind of good and batshit crazy, and apparently it's really gory, so if it's Arctic, if anybody's seen it, let me know. Um, then I grabbed a couple from Scream Factory. I love, well, first off, Straight On Till Morning, this sounded really good. Um, I'd never seen this movie before. I think it's from the 70s, 1972. Yeah, and this woman moves to London uh, to pursue this guy. She falls in love with a serial killer type thing, so it sounds awesome. And then, of course, we have Fright, the long-awaited, highly anticipated. I love this movie so much. Um, 1971 Fright, starring Susan George, and this movie's really creepy. It's really good. It's got that old Victorian mansion and this woman being pursued by someone or something who's out there. He's waiting. He's out there. He's waiting. And it's awesome. It's great. I love it. Love the atmosphere in that movie. I'm so happy to have that on Blu-ray. Then I grabbed two media books from 84 Entertainment. Really cool covers. Uh, Poltergeist 2 and 3. I know these have been put out a million times before, but I wanted to grab uh, some collector's edition media books from 84 before they sell out. And those covers are fucking amazing. Um, I got to revisit these movies. It's been a long time. I don't even know if I've ever seen... Uh, Poltergeist 3. I know I've seen 2 and I didn't love it. Uh, but anyways, I should check it out. I should check these out for sure. And I have the Scream Factory editions. So, um, but these are super rad. 16 page booklets in each. Blu-ray, DVD combo packs. Uh, all region. So you don't have to be um, region specific to watch these. And they're just really nice. They're limited, but I don't know what they're limited to because it doesn't actually say. And I think there were multiple covers from each. It doesn't say what cover it is either, as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, no, I don't see a cover. But uh, there are a few covers, because I definitely saw uh, at least one other cover for each movie. But Poltergeist 2 and 3, a media book, German. All right, then we have... Oh, I forgot to unbox this. This is from Ronin. So we'll open this one up. I feel like I'm going so fast I'm forgetting things, but... Pretty sure this is it. And we have two new flicks from Ronin. Um, first one is Act of Vengeance. It's from uh, Scorpion and Orion Pictures. Well, it's an Orion Pictures release, Scorpion releasing. Uh, put it out. 1974. These women all had one thing in common. They each had been attacked in, a a sa in the same savage way. When they looked for justice, it wasn't there. So they took the law into their own hands and made the revenge fit the crime. So awesome. Some chicks seeking some badass revenge. And then we have The Wicked Die Slow. It's another new one from Scorpion as well. Um, this is a canon film. Uh, a hard-edged western in which notorious gunfighter The Kid and his Mexican sidekick Armadillo saddle their way through the post-Civil War West looking for four drunken and sadistic Indians who raped The Kid's girlfriend. Interesting. Usually, 
the Western, well, not really the Western, but a lot of movies, you know, they make the Indian, as rightfully so in history, uh, you know, the Indian is the poor victim, but in this case, the Indian is the rapist. So that's interesting. Uh, I don't know. A bold new Western in widescreen and color. So that's just my little uh, stereotypical take on it. I could be completely wrong. I don't know. I'm not a Western expert by any means, but it sounds pretty good. Uh, it's from 1968, so it's an older film as well. Awesome. The Wicked Die Slow. Cool. Psyched for that. All right. Last up, a box from Jesse from Diabolic DVD. We will get into this right now. I'll show you guys what I got with Jesse from Diabolic DVD. Hope everybody's doing very well today out there. Yes, sir. Indeed. All right. So we've got a whole slew of goodness here from Jesse over at Diabolic DVD. So many films from Jesse over at Diabolic. I don't know what I'm doing. What I'm, saying. I'm getting kooky. I'm getting ready for bed. I'm excited to go watch a movie and pass the frick out. So first up, uh, from Dark Side Releasing. So this company, they put out a few cool movies. Uh, Glass, which is like a newer Giallo film. Now they're getting cheap. They're not putting any slipcovers on them. But uh, they just released a whole slew of new films. They're actually a Canadian company, and I just directly ordered a bunch of their releases because Jesse sold out of a bunch of them uh, directly from, from this company, Dark uh, Side Releasing. And that was like five days ago. I still haven't heard anything, so hopefully they come soon. But this movie was released originally, I think, by Legless Corpse Films, Chopping Block, New Age Slasher movie. Um, I don't, I never saw it, but Five Idiot Kidnappers, One Final Girl, and A Very Angry Killer. So, Chopping Block... Then I have um, <laughs> Velasa Pastor. Now, the reason why I picked this up, shout out to Repulsive Reviews. He did an, uh, a review of this movie recently, and he liked it quite a bit, and he was surprised by how much he liked it. So it's a Wild Eye Blu-ray, which is a rare thing in itself. Wild Eye doesn't put out too many Blu-rays. But uh, yeah, Velasa Pastor, I guess, turning the uh, dinosaur possession, or the dino possession genre, which is kind of new, I guess. Um, so... It looks like a priest uh, is in pursuit of a possessed dinosaur, um, Velociraptor, um, but Velocipastor, <laughs> get it? The man of the claw, I don't know, but crazy, so. Uh, it says, too strange, even by midnight movie standards. <laughs> You'll believe a priest can turn into a dinosaur, maybe. Crazy. Craziness, so batshit craziness from Wild Eye. Then we have another one from uh, Scorpion. I actually picked this up because I never grabbed this originally, so I just grabbed it from Jesse. Uh, Youngblood, Lawrence Hilton Jacobs, uh, a gangster, gang-related uh, film, I guess. Gang Wars, Pushers, The Back Alley, Death Traps, You're Gonna Be a Star, some sort of black exploitation film from 1978. So that's Youngblood. Wanted to grab that one, too. Uh, and then I grabbed... Uh, the Ear, a film by Karel Kachma. I really like this company, uh, Second Run. They've been putting out some really obscure foreign films. And uh, the bitterest and most scathing account of what takes, of what it takes to get ahead in com communist bureaucracy. Uh, darkly satirical political noir. A high-ranking communist official and his wife begin to suspect that their home has been put under surveillance by the party over one night. The growing over one night, the growing tension exposes a bitter fault line in their relationship, feeding an atmosphere of paranoia and dread. Daring to address the taboos of totalitarianism, the ear was banned after completion and remained unseen until totalitarianism. totalitarianism. Isn't that right? That's what I said. No. Fucker. You said totalitarianism. It's totalitarianism. Oh, I'm sorry. I said total. It's total. <laughs> You fucking duke. Um, all right. Came in just in time. Yeah, right. The ear was banned after completion and remained unseen until the fall of communism 20 years later. Combining a blackly comic portrait of a disintegrating marriage with a searing critique of oppression, this landmark film remains starkly relevant today. So craziness. A film... Uh, what do you, what do you, a film connoisseur's film. A film for a film fan. I don't know what I'm saying, but... It's a film, not a horror film. Um, all right. Last up, I got two media books. Um, so let's see. I guess we'll go with this one first. To the Devil a Daughter. Really good film. Uh, I think Hammer uh, Studio Canal put out this film as well. And I think that Sh Scream Factory either put it out or they're going to. But a great Hammer film. Christopher Lee. 
Can't go wrong. Uh, 1976 Hammer Film Production. It's called To the Devil a Daughter. Ooh, wow. Yeah, I actually have uh, a version you can watch. This is going to stay sealed because it's <laughs> a media book and it's region B, but yeah. Um, I love, I love 70s Hammer. The best. All right, and last but not least, we have Killer's Moon, which is... Um, peace, bro, I love you. Thank you. I'm just about done, so... All, good. all right. Uh, but this is a uh, ex, uh, Euro Cult Collection Edition, uh, limited edition, of course. Um, Killer's Moon. Uh, Redemption Films put this out on Blu-ray, so you can grab a standard edition of that. But I wanted to pick it up. Uh, Jesse had posted like a bunch of movies. I think they might have been DVDs. I'm not sure. But he was sold out of everything, so I was just like frantically looking to purchase. Not really, though. I like this movie, and uh, I love the atmosphere. And it's creepy and good. And so, uh, yeah, why not? Grab the media book. This is Euro, the X-rated Euro Cult collection number 55. So I have a few of these. Not a, not a ton of them, but I definitely have a few of them. So I don't know if this is a newer one or what. But if you haven't seen Killer's Moon, check it out. It's pretty good. Kind of like a proto slasher. Um, this is Region B2. I'm just trying. Oh, it says uh, 444 editions. So that's cool. Um... Yeah, so it is region B locked. Yes, of course. Uh, yeah, but awesome. Early 70s goodness there. And then we have, um, I don't know when this was, or this is cover A. I don't know if this is limited. I'm sure it is, but uh, but I'm not sure what it's limited to. So a Nolus in conjunction with Hammer. I never heard of a Nolus, but uh, I love it. I love the uh, yellow and green on that. It's pretty rad. So cool. Awesome. Yes. One last thing I want to share with you guys. I got a new tat the other day. So my tat fam out there, uh, this is pretty cool. Got a new one. Pretty badass. I know the, the camera's not, not picking it up great, but uh, there you go. Pretty rad. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. All right. I think that's everything I have for you guys this evening. So we're going to call it a wrap. Um, yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned for much more. Um, I don't know what I'm getting for the rest of the week, but I have a lot of stuff pre-ordered. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Have a great night. Catch you later.